This is Hollow Knight, said to contain some of the hardest challenges known to gamers, sitting in my library for years now. And I'm coming back to it because gaming has just been okay lately, but God damn, does this fill my soul. This game might be one of the greatest games made of all time. And to feel something on the inside, we are 100% completing Hollow Knight under 20 hours. What does this mean? Beating bosses, collecting all sorts of things, and completing some of Hollow Knight's more hidden challenges. The clock is ticking and we completed last time 33%. And this is part two of the dumpster fire that is the saga of beating Hollow Knight. First things first, I wanna get rid of the three dreamers. This was a pretty big thing for the story. With breath in my lungs and a skip in my step, we arrive in Queen's Garden. A homey area, but it all ends too quickly. Arriving once again in Deepness, the white van, an area darker than a butt crack in an edgy teen's humor. This place is a dark alley you don't go down on a Saturday night. I'm the poor sap that came down here and now I'm getting jumped by spiders. It's impossibly dark, and what they don't tell you is that there are also spikes. I literally can see nothing, I'm naked and afraid. Two thousand years later. Eventually we do make it back out and capitalism wins the day. We go to Dirtmouth to buy a lantern. And let me tell you, this is the only way to see in there properly. So then riddle me this, Batman. Why is it the most expensive item there if it's a necessity? What kind of inflation do we got going on in here? What kind of sick sadistic loser would get pleasure by me, a poor innocent sap being lost in the dark? <laughs> yeah, boy. So finally, we come back, walking miles time, after what felt time, like forever with a goddamn time. flashlight. I have it, and honestly, I still don't know where I'm going. So I just keep going down. I probably just keep going down, right? They do way too much damage. What the hell? This is a place, and a creepy one at that. Oh my gosh. After getting out of that terrible area, we find ourselves that way with boing, boing, mommy boing. issues. <laughs> I'm about to bust. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was the bathroom. Oh, good lord. Look, look at these freaking webs. They're oh, giant. And the only thing that could make actually. these is a mommy. I'm all about moms. But when it's a spider has eight legs and is going to chew your head off, I have a different opinion. But you know, I don't think I have a choice because the dreamer is here. Don't they attack me? Yeah, I get stuck on the rest. And then they all cried around me like some creeps. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, dang. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, man, I got kidnapped by people who drank too much of the Kool-Aid again. The beast's den. I can't. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He's just he's just not having any of it. So maybe the great slash, maybe the great slash can do something to him. Ooh, it did do something. There we go. Okay, let's try an art here. Oh. Ah. This is a dumb way of going about that. Ah. Ah. Oh. But it works. Okay, this is the body, the dreamer. Oh, I don't know if I've ever interacted with these guys. Oh, do I just gotta attack them? Whammo, whammo for her, whammo. You mine, give it to me, give it to me. Oh, Jesus. Okay. What is that? What is that? Oh, uh, that was pretty neat. Don't know what I just looked at. There were shapes. It is bright. My eyes. Well, let's go for all those dreamers. I've never done it before. Doubling back, we go a route we haven't been before, only to find something all too familiar. Is this an actual safe path? What the fuck is that thing? You look just like me. He's a friend though, look at him. She's I'm chasing him down and it's creepy. Creepy! Oh, the thing is sealing it up behind me. Okay, that's so funny! He got spike bits on his bike! Okay, uh... Nosk, I have concern- <gasps> oh. 
Oh. Yeah. This is not Gucci. No. Oh, shoot. Oh my god, he's lethal. Well, I'm dead. There's a oh my god, is he fast? Why does he feel so fast? How did I get from all the way over here to over there? Okay, we should probably rest at this bench. Foul, temptress, leading just helpless, innocent, vulnerable people into its cave. Is my shade in the boss room? Oh, it sure seems like he is. Come here, boss! Oh my god! It's ready to go! I need to heal, man. I need to heal. I am scared. What is he doing? Okay. Ooh. 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 What does that mean? What that? Oh, he drops. He's dropping dookies from the sky. Ah, no. The dookies hurt. Oh, my God. What kind of patterning is this? I have a chance. I have a chance to heal. Okay. You just... Uh, that counted... <clears throat> Hang on my thread now. in the process we trust in the process we're just gonna keep doing the same thing it didn't even hit him what in the world is happening why did it hit me twice why did they get a double dunk oh my gosh thank you oh that was a time and a half of a fight get that freaking mask away from me you ain't no friend of mine there better be something good the end of this tunnel. What is this? That does make up for it. I will say that does in fact make up for it. Speaking on good news, we got another I nail up there going from nine to 13 so nice. damage. And this, I tell you, is so huge. Move. I really need I to make some big progress on things that I've been holding off percent. on for a long time now. And one of them is Essence. Essence doesn't get you that much of a percent, but I am going to need it to get to that 100% regardless. And in Resting Grounds is Spirit's Glade. There's a bunch of these dreamers there. They're very easy to get a hold of. However, the first one was oh, troubling. Shit. This spirit be damned. I could just not seem to slay. <laughs> the only reliable way to hit this thing was actually parrying it. Because if you got closer, it would move away. It, it was just a regular mook enemy. And I kid you not, I spent like 15 minutes on this guy grinding away i was like did they put this in this game to show me that I'm terrible at Harry? and wouldn't you know it i look it up you can't even kill them what you do is you go through spirit's glade hitting the other dreamers and he will attempt to stop you what in the world <sighs> After I realized a silly mistake, I quickly went around dispatching the others and happily leaving this insanity. And once we do all that, we get into some of the more nooks and crannies of Ancient Basin. We eventually beat a boss to look just like a me. Why, it tastes so good. I think I'd like to try it a second time. And then we beat its better half, its dreamer version, which actually wasn't that bad, beating both of them on the first try. With her fancy new wings in tow as well, I pay our friend Hornet a visit. So you'd pursue the deeper truth that isn't one that we could bear. Prove yourself ready to face it. Ooh, <laughs> this is so dumb. This is the dumbest thing I've done. <laughs> After that refreshing encounter, we go down below to breathe in some asbestos. Huffing in the fumes of asbestos, I realize that I am now the one and true king. Following that, my last two remaining brain cells fight for dominance as the whole building collapses on myself. And then my knight in shining armor comes to rescue me. Harnet, and we made up.
55%. I feel pretty good about where we are right now. At this point, we have played for around 11 hours. I feel confident about it. Problem is the last stuff left is going to be a lot harder to find and a lot harder to beat and get, I think. And just to wrap up what we did the rest of the day, we beat the second trial in the Coliseum of Fools, which I'm going to have to go to therapy after seeing that thing. We beat the brooding Malwak. Not too bad. A bit of a stinky boss. He kind of just stood in the same spot the entire time. Went to the top of Hollow Nest. We picked up a bunch of equipment, which gives us percent, but also allows us methods to find other ways of getting more percent completion, like collectibles. Checked out a new area called the Hive. I really love this area. I wish they fleshed it out more. It's got such a vocative flavor. It's got these bees. And then we finally ended off with the Hive Knight, a really cool boss, all under the watchful eye of the Bee Queen. Really fun fight. I really enjoyed it. Going around getting these trees that drop essence. The essence allows us to do other things that hopefully are going to get us more completion, including uh, messing with this piece of armor. From what I've heard has the Path of Pain, which should be in the next episode. <laughs> in our quest for essence, though, we decided to go for a dreamer boss that I didn't know what I was getting myself into. The failed champion, the very first boss we ever faced, but reimagined Apple iPhone version 10,000. They put the cake master, the thickness, the absolute godliness of this creature up to 11. And let me tell you something. He's faster, throws around massive balls, has more health and can't get soul while you're fighting him. So you can't heal during the fight either. Why? Why did they do this? <laughs> And I kid you not, it's the only boss so far that's actually given me trouble. Well, there you have it. That was part two of our Hollow Knight journey. Thank you so much for watching and definitely check out part one if you haven't. And part three, the finale will come out very soon. So don't forget to subscribe down below. Without further ado, again, love you all. Thank you all for watching. And last thing but not leastly, keep it here, keep it real, keep it fresh, keep it positive. Stay safe out there. Mwah.